Day. Shalom to those that keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of His precious Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, who paid the price on Calvary's cross with His own precious blood that we might be set free from the grip of Satan, sin, death, hell, and judgment. And people like Gertu, the servants of Satan, whose demons and whose schemes we trample underfoot in Yahushua's authority and name. Hallelujah, we praise you, Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're back. God has provided. And we're going to make more videos. All right. Go to. We made one video against this guy. Okay. And if you watch that video, then you will understand why that video was made. Because he made a video against us. We never draw first blood. They do. In which he attacked us for the sake of being popular among people like Pastor George C. and his Nehemiah Sin Center. I call it Sin Center, not Nehemiah Center, because even Prophet Nehemiah of old would be very offended to have people covering up the transgressions using his name. And as if the Nehemiah Center is a place to be. <laughs> but in any case, that is where the pack of vultures, the, the pack of hyenas I should say, that is where they gather, okay? So we made a video against Gurk, and we like annihilated this guy with the Holy Scriptures, okay? Because of his blasphemous statements that were contrary to the Holy Scriptures. And that, you know, okay. You have to watch my video to understand what I'm talking about. The next thing he does, as he could not ha handle it that we retaliated with the truth against his lies, is go all over the YouTube Christian community, if you can even call it that, spreading the lies that the Mighty Wind Ministry throw out the Holy Bible and that Yah serve in 777 is a hater. Of Native Americans because I dare to come against Gurk too. Now let me tell you this we do not hate Native Americans as a matter of fact we have Native Americans working right by our side for the glory of God to reach souls for his kingdom and for his son all right we are against shamanism and the practices of shamans which Gurk too claims to be and why are we against shamanism? It is because the Bible condemns all forms and arts and sorts of witchcraft and sorcery, such as shamanism. Sorcerers shall have their part in the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, if they do not repent of that sin. Don't call it hate. If you do so, you have a problem with the Bible, not with me. I didn't write it. Take your problem to God, okay? In the video that I made, I showed you that Gurk is a self-proclaimed shaman and I'm going to show you the screenshot of his original dis uh, channel description which he later on altered and he removed this part because he didn't want to have his sin reproved okay so here it is screenshot straight from Gurk 2's channel like it was he says and I follow the old ways as best as I can laid down by the master and he of course never tells us who that master is okay but we'll find out. And I do trip along the way. I'm also Native American of the Anikitawagi, commonly Cherokee tribe. Now, okay, if he's telling the truth about that, I don't know. He doesn't look Native American at all, okay? But anyway, if he is, this is of course no problem. But the problem is the following. He says this. I add Native American shaman influence into my Christian 
practices. Okay, this was just to refresh your mind, alright? He claims to be a shaman and he just mixes these influences with Christianity. It is like drinking of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils and the Bible says you can't do that. You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. That's what he is doing. And he he is very open about these things until he was he was very open about these things until he removed it so you could no longer see it. Okay? I want to show you something else. A screenshot of one of his chats with fellow Native American sorcerer Quiet Buck who deems Red Elk as his, as his Jesus because he himself does not even believe Jesus is the Son of God or the Messiah or should be worshipped but he, he thinks that Red Elk is Jesus. Now we have here one of Gertrude's chats with Quiet Buck. Okay, I'm gonna go show you the screenshot. He says this, Trust me, I haven't turned my back on our people. Just here I try to stay closer to the book. When I can make the connection then I see it. It's like I am walking a line between a biblical way and the way of the people. It's hard to be in the middle at times. Now let me see, let me quote this again, this last sentence. These last two sentences. It's like I am, I am walking a line between a biblical way and the way of the people and it's hard to be in the middle at times. Now concerning this middle way that Gertu is talking about, I will, I'm gonna get back to that in a moment because first I want to bring this to your attention. As you can see, he has no problem hanging, hanging around a guy who is full of the Antichrist spirit who does not even believe that Jesus is the Messiah or the Son of God and teaches people not to worship Jesus. Alright? He has no problem with a guy like that, but instead of that, Gertu is waging a war against one woman who only does one thing and it is point a finger to the Son of God, Yahushua, Jesus, as the only way back to heaven. Now I ask you, what is wrong with that picture? Okay? Anyway, he says Elizabeth is leading souls to hell. Enough about the hypocrisy. Well, we're gonna get some more hypocrisy right now revealed. He says, the middle way. He's walking the middle way. Alright? What he's basically saying is, here's the word of God. And here is the way of the people. The way of the world. And you know who the prince of this world is at this time. It is Satan. And here is Gert too walking the middle way. Now what is what he's basically saying is, here you have hot, here you have cold, and here is the lukewarm way. And I am walking that lukewarm way. And I'm going to tell you this, Gurk, too. Revelation 3.16 says, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Concerning adding shaman influences to, your, to Christianity, the Bible says, uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 22, No man can serve two masters, for he will either hate the one and love the other, or hold on to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God on one day and serve the devil on the other day. You have to make a decision. Especially in these last days, it is very wise to make a decision. Are you going to walk on the right way or on the wrong way? If you're going to sit on that fence, God is going to knock you off that fence himself. Because you just read it. Revelation chapter 3 verse 16. Neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth, straight from the lips of the Son of God, Yahushua HaMashiach. Now after I confronted Gert II and the viewer of my video that he's a self-professed shaman, he quickly edited and removed this part from his channel description so that you would no longer see that he is messing around in the occult, that he is engaging in shaman practices. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 20, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. We shed the light of the truth on his deeds of iniquity. And he wants to hide this. He doesn't want to be reproved. This is the real reason why he took that off of his channel. Alright? Now, in private, when Elizabeth Elijah and Gurk II actually had a conversation going on, as she was first of all pleading for his soul, trying to get him to stop doing this nonsense and take his video down, his video is down I should say, um, Gurk too said, well shaman is just another word for prophet. And this is of course rubbish. Let me tell you this, 
Yahushua the Son of God, who is the prophet of all prophets, just as surely as he is the king of all kings, is not a shaman, and he did not use sorcery or any kind of magic to perform the miracles that he performed on this earth when he came to us in the flesh. Okay, he is not a shaman, he was God with us, who can do all things because he created all things. All right. For the record, Gerg too claims to be a prophet, yet his prophecies have yet to be seen. And honestly, he doesn't even understand the purpose of the gift of holy prophecy. He had some rather blasphemous statements about that. He said, well, Elizabeth is a false prophet because she has prophecies that have not come to pass yet. So according to his twisted reasoning, the Bible must be false because he never even realizes that most prophecies that are contained within the Holy Scriptures and in the book of Revelation still have to come to pass. Alright? Are they therefore, according to his twisted reasoning, false? No. Because what is the purpose of prophecy? It is God the Creator predicting the future through his prophets for this generation to be warned and to have the time to prepare, to repent and to change. This is the purpose of prophecy, God predicting the future for our sakes, out of his mercy. Okay, Gurut too doesn't even understand that holy gift, and he despises that gift, and anyone that has that genuine gift, he will come against. Okay, concerning his blasphemous statements, for example, about the gift of holy tongues, he said it is an utterance or nonsense. He said, in his opinion, people should only be allowed to speak uh, in holy tongues on the day of Pentecost, if they at all, you know, even should speak about in, in holy tongues. He just despises that gift, all right? And like I said, he will come against anybody that has that gift. Now, Gurkhi also said that there have never been women prophets. While the Holy Bible clearly gives us so many examples of women prophets in time of, times of old, then not to mention the prophecy of Joel about these last days that God would pour out the Spirit upon all flesh and that even his handmaidens would prophesy. Now what does that make them when they prophesy? Prophets? I have no problem with that. <laughs> I have shown you since the first video that Gurk too is not knowledgeable enough to teach anything to anybody from the Holy Scriptures. So this is the man. A sorcerer who brings homage to sorcerers and despises the Holy Spirit through his blasphemies who is running around telling people that the mighty went throughout the Holy Bible. Now my first question is why in the world would you believe a guy like that? Okay. Now to get his revenge, he aligned himself with Pastor George C. and company. And he uploaded like 50 plus or even 60 I don't know videos against the mighty wind just to hit us in the search engines and to promote George C's false, illegal, cyber-squatting website that was dedicated to lies against a mighty wind ministry. Now, it came, of course, as no surprise to us that Pastor George C and his pack of hyenas of his sin center, they have no problem with a sorcerer, okay? They continue to stone Elizabeth Elijah, but they adopt this Native American shaman into their midst. Okay, here is a screenshot. George C. congratulating his shaman brother. And Gurk too claims that George is his pastor. And you know, it doesn't stop here. This is Gurk too's girlfriend. There's a love affair going on in Gurk too's channel. Okay, because he claims that Fire Wisp, also known as Mist Fire Dragon, also known as Mist Wicca, who is a practicing witch is a soon-to-be wife. For those who do not believe what I'm right now saying, I'm going to show you the screenshots right now. Calling each other husband and wife, while they have never even met or seen each other, and openly talking about her practices of witchcraft and about casting curses. Now ain't that amazing? What a lovely couple, a shaman and a witch. Now let me ask you, what do you get when you unite? a shaman and a witch. A Christian? Nah, <laughs> I don't think so. But you know what? They're welcome at Pastor George C's Nehemiah Sin Center. 
Just stone Elizabeth and you're in. Just mess around in the occult and you're in. And you can claim George C. as your pastor. Now, the latest news is that Gurk II and his girlfriend want to buy George C.'s illegal website against the Mighty Wind to furthermore continue to wage their war against one woman who has never even made a video against them or done them any kind of harm, okay? Now, what a shock! A shaman and a witch coming against the Holy Ministry. What a surprise! Now, Gurk II claims that Elizabeth broke an agreement that he made. He made an agreement. I actually told you the only way I would come back into this battle. The only loophole I gave you on the truce was that if you guys broke the agreement that I was making, then all bets are off. I'm back in the war. And that agreement was basically that he would keep the peace as long as Elizabeth would not provoke him. Lest he would start an even bigger war, he says. This guy is totally obsessed with war. Alright? Now basically what he says is, I have 50 videos up against you in which I lie about you, slander you, speak all manner of evil against you, and you have no right to speak out against that. If I hear you say anything about that, I'm going to start a bigger war with you. Now can you imagine the insanity, okay? So Elizabeth gave him time and mercy, you know, in the hopes that Gurk II would indeed desire peace and stop his evil, in the hopes that he would take this video, these videos down. Now, Firewisp, the witch, his girlfriend, became so jealous that even before he, he, he went back into this war again, as he called it, she was pulling out all the stops to get him to, to speak out against Elizabeth again. She got so jealous and, 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 you know, she made it very clear what she thought of Elizabeth and how she's going to destroy Elizabeth. Here's the screenshot straight from the mouth of Fire Wisp. Now, for all the hypocrites out there, okay, that come to us, uh, continuing to misquote the Bible, telling us that we have to bless our enemies and do good to them and just forgive them and just not do anything, you know, just not speak out against them. You know, why don't you go to our enemies and tell them the exact same thing and say, look man, just bless the mighty with ministry. Do good to them. Please take your videos down. Stop this war. It goes both ways, you know. Because let me ask you this. Why is it that many of you have no problem whatsoever with a pastor from hell who adopts Native American sorcerers and witches into his congregation? That are waging a war against a ministry, against one woman that only does one thing and that is bring praise, honor and glory and souls to the Son of God, Yahushua HaMashiach. Now why in the world don't you care about such things? God is holding you accountable. All y'all will be standing in a courtroom straight from heaven and Yahushua will remind you of a holy ministry that was persecuted, hated, and slandered, bashed, trashed, and smashed in all ways by sorcerers and witches like Gurk II and Firewiz. And you stood by and you did nothing and you joined them in their hate campaigns. Okay? When you will be standing, representing yourself before the Son of God, I will say good luck representing yourself before God Almighty. Because there is none that can deliver out of God, God's hands. And there will be none of the Nehemiah Sin Center be able to back you up in any kind of way. And I hope that you can come up with something good then because you're going to need it. Now back to Gurt 2. You gotta understand this. A disciple of Yahushua HaMashiach, the Son of God, if need be, if asked by Yahushua, will leave everything behind. That can be literally everything that you love and once desired and have built and have planted and fought for. All right? If need be, a disciple of Yahushua leaves loved ones and families behind for the sake of the kingdom of heaven to preach the gospel and walk fully in the calling that God has placed on their life. All right? The same goes for many of us in a mighty wind ministry. 
For the sake of the gospel, we have been divided from Satan's goats. All right? Whether it be non-believers or believers that pretend to be Christians but are living like the devil. All right? The same goes for my brother, Yashib777. For the sake of the kingdom of God, he left everything behind. And his testimony is found on the Mighty Wind Ministry website. Now Gurk too makes a video against Yaship777 trying to harm him emotionally, mentally, manipulating saying son come out of that cult because that woman has destroyed your family and you are breaking the fifth commandment you need to go back to your father because the fifth commandment says honor thy father and thy mother. Now first of all let me tell you this Gurk what a joke for a sorcerer destined for hellfire like you to even dare to talk about the commandments of God as your own actions are contrary to all the commandments of God. You can quote scripture as much as you want but you cannot apply the fifth commandment to a man who is full of Satan who is trying to persecute his own child into compromising his walk with the Lord compromising with the truth trying to drag him to hell with him Okay, now if you think that the fifth commandment applies to this situation, then you make the very first commandment, which is the most important commandment of all, which says to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might, to no effect. Because you're putting man's will before God's will, and you can't do that. God's will goes before man's will. If you have a biological dad who is trying to drag you to hell, who is trying to get you to compromise that which you know to be true, then you allow Yahushua to divide you from that person, to divide you from your biological dad. Okay, for the sake of your own soul, for the sake of your own safety, and for the sake of your own relationship with the Lord, you allow the dividing soul to come in Yahweh's timing. This is nothing strange, okay? Just read the Bible and you will understand. And then for those of you, that say, well, Elizabeth is wrecking up marriages and destroying families. I say to you, you got to meet the greatest family wrecker of all time. Let's look at the Bible. Luke chapter 12, verse 51 to 53. It says, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth? I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one household divided. Three against two. Two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father. The mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. And the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Here you have it. The son of God causing division to come between father and son. For his name's sake. Alright, for the sake of the truth, for the sake of his kingdom, for the sake of the gospel. Okay. The fact that people leave everything behind to join this ministry for the sake of reaching souls only validates this ministry as a true ministry of God. This is the biblical way. The disciples of Yahushua leave everything behind if need be and put God first. But when you look at Pastor George C. and his sin center and all those affiliated with that center or associated with them on the internet or you know, in their personal lives even. For them, it is all about remaining unequally yoked to an unbeliever. Remaining unequally, well, they're equally yoked because they're all unbelievers, if you ask me. But for them, it is about remaining together with goats of Satan at all costs. You have seen Naphtali claiming that a woman has no right to divorce a spouse even if it would turn out to be the Antichrist. Or somebody that forces you to take the mark of the beast. Or somebody that would hand you over to the government. No, 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 no. The Bible says God hates divorce. You're not allowed to, to divorce. You know, you guys are nothing but fools. You're blasphemous. And according to you, God is not a God of mercy. So if I am yoked to a woman, or if a woman is yoked to a, to a husband, okay, that will deliver her to the governments of this world to be tortured okay and I'm not allowed to separate from that person right now for my safety 
how much of, of, of a God, how much a God of mercy is God then? Now let's move further as we continue to expose this work of iniquity. Take another look at this screenshot from his channel. I'm gonna take a closer look at it. And I quote, I want those websites from PG. Why? Because I can. And she will never get control of them. I have at least another 20 years in me and will leave it with someone else when I pass. So she will never see it. Frankly, like all cults are, I think she will go the same way with the rest of them. In 10 years, she will be just a memory. Seems like he's open-minded for discussion, ain't he? So much for peace. He's hell-bent on trying to destroy God. Trying to destroy God's ministry. Now what you can see here is that he's not only threatening to take over Pastor George C.'s fake illegal cyber-squatting website against the Mighty Wind Ministry, to torment Elizabeth some further, but you can see that he's boasting in himself that he has guaranteed another 20 years left to live on this earth. So much for the beginning of our wisdom, fear of the Lord. There is none. Okay, this is what the Bible says, Gurk 2. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Then not to mention the example that Yahushua, the Son of God, gave us about the rich man that said to himself, I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods, laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night, this night, thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be, which thou hast provided? Now as you can see, Gurk's statement about 20 years left in him. It, it is so in conflict with the Holy Bible, what this man does, what this man teaches, what this man preaches. I mean, it is obvious that this man does not believe the Holy Bible. He doesn't read the Holy Bible. He, sure, he surely doesn't live by the Holy Bible. Okay, this is the, these are the kind of people that we are battling with at this time. Okay, that are being adopted at Pastor George C. Sin Center, who claim George as their pastor. Hello? Now, one of the reasons he keeps telling himself that he has at least 20 years left is because, just like all of our enemies, they are scared of Yahweh's judgment. They're scared of Yahweh's judgment upon their activities. We have screenshots from, um, from private messages he sent to Elizabeth, and he said, look, I love the pastor part of you, but I hate the prophet. In other words, he says, when he looks at Elizabeth, he sees two different persons. He sees the prophet, and he sees the pastor, and he hates the prophet part. In other words, he wants God to shut up. You know, please don't speak of judgment. I don't, I, I don't like that part. I want to hear that. No, no, I hate that part. Just keep your holy tongues that I call nonsense and your prophecies to yourself. Because, hey, after all... They are false, and I have proven it. Gertu, you ha the only thing that you have proven is that you are a fool who thinks that he can interpret the Holy Scriptures with his own human intellect to pick apart holy prophecies that were spoken forth by the same God that, <laughs> that brought the Bible into existence. You're nothing, but a, a, you're nothing but a fool. And all those that give heed to these workers of iniquity and that stone this ministry because guys like Gurk too said, hey, these prophecies are false. You're nothing but biblical educated fools. And hell will be hot for all y'all. All y'all, if you do not repent. I plead for your soul. If you are still aligning yourself with Pastor George C., or anybody part of a sin center, or people like Gurk too, or witches like Fire Wisp. Stop provoking your creator to anger because his patience is running out with you guys. His patience is really running out. You know, this concerning Gurk too, you have seen it again. The quality of these people that desire to wage a war against us. Sinners, hypocrites, liars, sorcerers, witches. 
And there you have it. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit on the sidelines and do nothing? As you see a holy prophet being stoned? As you see a ministry that leads souls worldwide to Yahushua, the Son of God, in so many different languages? As you see this ministry being stoned and hated? What are you going to do? That's my question to the viewer. You are being tested. Because Yahweh is using this ministry as a tester of metals. Okay, your metal is being tested. This was Yah's servant 777. And after this video, if you've watched it, there is no more excuse left for anybody, for anybody, to jump on the bandwagon of people like this. Okay. If you do, it is only proof of the caliber of your relationship with Jesus Christ. There is probably no relationship. For those that have a relationship with Jesus Christ and that have the Holy Spirit will run from these people lest they become contaminated because a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump and they know that okay in addition to all this as I'm gonna stop speaking right now I'm gonna show you some material for GERD 2 whether it's his demonic image that represents himself or some PMs full of insanity tells Elizabeth this was Yah's servant Yusha's truth seekers take care we'll be back soon with new material coming up